hello my dear family members if you are preparing for virtusa and if you have questions like can you share with us real questions can you share the latest pattern and what's the cutoff and how to prepare can you use c++ so if you have these questions then this video is for you why because we are going to discuss all of these answers in this video and just before that guys i want you to subscribe this channel like this video comment down which content you want more and please join our telegram channel t.me slash if we can now okay now let me discuss about the power coding questions and latest pattern cutoff etc so let me start with the first question that is what's the latest pattern the pattern is you can see guys this is shared by the official team analytical ability problem solving numerical ability verbal ability reading comprehensions and writing skills technical skills coding power coding okay so these are all you have to face before coding and power coding you'll have one break and after that you will start the exam so as they have assigned 120 minutes for coding sections that means the code might be little bit difficult okay so let me discuss about the cutoff and the real questions so cutoff is always 65 percent to 75 percent please achieve this much of number so that you can be uh, selected for the next round okay uh, as earlier they have conducted the exam and they had conducted one physical round and they had conducted it under uh, invigilator okay so please have that mindset to give the exam under invigilators okay and the next question is can you use c++ very honestly the last on campus when the last one on campus uh, conducted they only allowed candidate to use java okay very honestly please expect java only okay c++ may be available but if you are relying on solely on java then it will be confirmed that you will get java as a programming language okay so please be dependent on that okay now next question is how to prepare the answer is please go through the previous year questions and please go through the recent questions which were conducted by mercer metal recently so that you can be selected easily okay because they have conducted the exam and they are almost repeated all the questions okay so you can prepare this way now let me discuss the actual coding questions hey you ready for the future attack no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so the question is smallest missing even number so you are given an integer array a of length n and your task is to find and return an integer value representing the smallest missing even number from the array a if all even numbers a even numbers up to the maximum value in the array are present return the next even number after the largest even number in the array so uh, you are given an integer array of length n and your task is to find and return an integer value representing the smallest missing even number so smallest missing even number you have to represent from the array a. if all even numbers up to the maximum value in the array are present return the next even number after the largest even number this is very easy questions so if you are given one array of let's say two four six and there is no missing number in between then you have to return eight as the output as it is the even number and next even number okay and if the array is given like this two six then you have to return four because four is missing here so that's why you have to return this if the sample input is let's say two six 10 then here 2 4 6 8 10 should be there but 4 should be output because 4 is the smallest and 8 is like 4 is missing 8 is missing but 4 is smallest so that's why you have to return this okay i hope you want to do what the task is so let me just read the further questions that is input specification and output specifications are given like uh, an integer value representing the size of the array and an integer array a representing the positive integers and output specifications return an integer value representing the smallest missing even number from the array a if all even numbers da, 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 da. so now sample input is given here like if size, size is the 5 and 2468 
12 is the even numbers and 10 is the output why because 2 4 6 8 up to this there is no missing even number but after that there is a missing number 10 okay so that's why 10 is returned if let's say 10 is given here so after that you should return 12 okay so i hope you understood guys so please give the answer in the comment section before i give and if you want to get the interview questions technical interview questions latest technical interview questions then please damn me or just comment down your recommendation that you want technical questions technical interview questions okay so that i can get to know how much you want uh, to get to know about the interview questions okay so let me share the answers but before that if you have not yet purchased our prime materials from techno like topmate.i slash techno underscore web then please visit that hundreds of students are getting placed in virtuses so please have that materials and grab the opportunity because here we have also the interview materials so please have that and grab the opportunity thank you so let me share the answer so basically all the questions which are which were were asked yesterday all are from which portion that is has set okay so set is the main interface and the set interface has this has set class okay so you have to implement that okay so i hope you understood most of the questions were from has set i hope you know the basic functionalities of has set it only store the unique values okay Okay, now let me just share uh, what uh, okay so what should be our approach to the solutions just let me tell that so let's say this is the 2 4 6 8 and 12 so this is our array how will you solve the problem so at first you are taking the input right so inputs are taken then uh, you have to find uh, you have to find if it is a if it is an even number or not and accordingly you have to store you have to store all those elements inside a even array even array or even uh, has set okay even has set so here you will store all the unique values and all the even values okay after checking if it is even or not okay after storing that you have to find the maximum even element okay what is the maximum even even element from the hash set then after choosing the maximum value of that hash set you have to go up to the max element using the for loop okay then you have to find if if it is not if it is missing or not okay here you will check if it is missing or not so let me share the uh, output so, sorry so let me share the output so that you can get to know the full answer so actually i am recording this video at till 1 am so that's why i am a little uh, like lesser louder so let me just uh, please compromise that so let me just go through the main function yeah so here at first we are initializing the scanner class object then so that's why we have two uh, import the scanner class so now we are taking the size of that array int n is equal to scanner dot next int and then we are initializing the array okay so at first declare and then initialize the array of size n okay now uh, we are just taking the inputs of the integer elements of that array okay so i hope you know how to take inputs for an array uh, and it is taking the array at corresponding indexes okay now we are just uh, storing the integer value which is being returned by find smallest missing even number this function okay and then printing that variable result so let me share the implementation of this function so it is an static method so this static method uh, why we use this this is an interview questions because we um, because if we use static method then it will reduce the storage and also it will save the memory actually and also we can call the function directly from the main method okay without uh, without declaring or initializing the uh, class okay so now it is an it is returning an integer value and this is the function name and it's taking an array as an argument now has set has set class is 
of integer value okay hash set will contain only integer and this is the name of the hash set and we are just initialized with the object okay so now what we are doing will uh, this is the array already we have right so as of now we have this array here so what we have taken inputs 2 4 6 8 and 12 we have taken the inputs so what we are doing here that is we are running an enhanced for loop using that we are also checking if if as for int num so this variable each time it will store the current element of that array okay for each iteration it will keep changing and for the first iteration the num variable is storing first value 2 okay now it is checking if num mod 2 that means 2 mod 2 if it is equal to equal to 0 or not so that means if we divide 2 by 2 if it is returning like if if it has 0 remainder or not okay if it is 0 remainder then that means it is an even number so this is the even numbers has set we are adding that number if it is an even number then we are adding that number inside an has set that is even numbers dot add this is an inbuilt method inside has set which will add the even number inside this has set okay so i hope you understood so let me go to the next part so then what we are doing let me just remove this then what we are doing if uh, so now what we are doing uh, at first we are initializing the maximum element of that uh, of that at first as zero and what we are doing we are doing we are running an enhanced for loop again for int even is to even numbers then max even is equal to math we are using a math class which has inbuilt function max which will return the which will return a compare and return the max among max even and even so this will return the maximum element of the of the hash set at the end okay so at first max even is zero then even is in this even numbers two four six eight twelve so all of these are stored right all of these are stored now at the very beginning even is equal to two then in the next iteration four in the next iteration six so this way it will keep iterating right so max even is at first zero here and it will compare with the first two okay now it will return two so it will be stored as two in the next iteration it will compare with two and four so th then max even will be four so this way it will keep iterating and at the end max even will be 12 right now again we are using a for loop for int i is equal to two here we are running the for loop up to max element plus 2 that means 14 why because up to 14 why because uh, let's say the elements are not missing any elements are not missing so in that case we have to return the next element right so that's why we are going up to 14 okay i hope you understood and we are just implementing the i by plus 2 okay here we are checking if even numbers that has set even numbers has set this is has, has sets if it not contains the i value so i is equal to 2 at first because i uh, why we are initializing from 2 because even number starting from 2 right we are checking here if even number contains uh, not contains that means this has set not contains any value so what it will the i the value will be 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 right so now it will keep checking in the each iteration if the current value is not containing inside this has set if 4 is not containing so false it's false 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 but here when the uh, the flow will come it will be true if not contains yes 10 is not content here so that's why it will return the ith value okay okay i hope you understood so at the end let's say 2 4 6 8 10 12 it is not uh, like found it is not found here right it is not found so at the end at the end we are we can return the same value okay here it is optional you can give or you can ignore as well so why we are giving it because let's say if you are using only max even here so the last element cannot be returned so for that only we are returning this one okay 
I hope you understood. So let me run it, guys, for you so that you can see the sample output. Okay. So for five, this is a size, and two, four, six, eight, then twelve outputs would be fourteen. Sorry, ten. And let me show the second sample input, and that is let's say for five. Two, four, six, eight, two, uh, sorry, ten. Then what should be the output? Twelve. I hope you understood, right? So, guys, actually, this much of discussion, I think, enough for today's session. If you want me to upload any other content, then please damn me or comment down, recommend your uh, what you what's your choice, and also please subscribe this channel and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this. Okay, I hope it's. Enough. Thank you.